fight between the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, and Aljamain Sterling. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York. Introducing the challenger, El Jermaine Punk Master Sterling. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of it. 
All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Too. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length, give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Sterling's going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. There you go. And there's the tap and a violent one at that, and you get a false sense of security messing around with this guy on the ground. He's got submissions from everywhere. Goes to the heel hook well today. Beautiful finish by his jiu-jitsu ace. He went right from the top position into that heel hook and got the finish. The Funk Master delivers. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So we got a new UFC heavyweight champion, and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.